hello i think i'm live the sun's just come out i've got my lovely radiance um drink here and i'm really looking forward to having a good conversation here now let me see if i can um invite my guest in danielle it's not letting me invite me have you can you actually put in a request to join danielle oh i've got a few requests where's that gone i've been having problems with this and it keeps popping up um it's the day after the eclipse whilst we're waiting for me to work out how to get my guest in tell me who saw the eclipse um and who actually um who felt the energy of it. Um, we're going to be having a great conversation today about the root cause of health issues and lots of chance for you to ask your questions. I've got you here, Danielle. How are you doing? <laughs> we figured it out. Good. I'm great. It's good to see you. Yeah. Can you hear me okay? I'm going to turn my volume up. I'm a bit low. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, yeah I hear you great. You're coming through fine on my end. Okay, that's great. That's great. Let us know who is in the chat and where you're joining from. Um, I was just speaking about the eclipse yesterday. Did you see it where you were, Danielle? I did. And I just saw someone said they're from Leesburg, Virginia. I went to school in Charlottesville, Virginia. So oh, cool. There, oh, but... cool, cool, cool. Yeah. yeah, obviously, we didn't see it in the UK, but I've been seeing some amazing pictures. And despite all the hype about the world was going to end, mm -hmm. it all looks like everything went off nicely. And I think everyone's had... An, a nice upgrade from it. Let us know what your experience is, everyone. Um, what did you see, Danielle? How big of an event was it for where you were? Well, it's interesting. It wasn't a full eclipse where I was. And I, I don't know, yesterday I was drawn really to go inward. Like, I just felt the power of the energy. So I was meditating during it. And I had one of the most incredible meditations. And then I woke up from it. And my boyfriend said, hey, our neighbors have the glasses. Like, why don't you go over and see it? So it just worked out perfectly. I got to walk out and, and see it. And it was just, um, I mean, it honestly, it looked like I was looking at the moon because at that yeah. time the sun was just sort of in the earth. Uh, so it was, it was really unique. I love it. I love it. I felt we, we did, um, I had my team meeting during the time of the eclipse. And obviously we had some people in Canada, some people in America, and there was a sort of global hum to resonate with the Earth's energy. So we all did that. So yes, I love being weird, but thanks everyone for joining us. And I've got a new guest to my channel today. Some of you might know Danielle, some might not. And we're going to be having a really great conversation and answering any questions you've got about what we mean when we talk about the root cause of health issues, whether it's physical, whether it's emotional, combination of both. But before we dive deep into that, and don't be shy about asking your questions, everyone, we will get to them. Danielle, introduce yourself. Um, tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do. Yeah, I help people that are on healing journeys. So I help people heal physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. And it's interesting, my own path has been one of healing. I lost my health in my 20s after being hit by a drunk driver. And it just, it took my life in a very different and unexpected direction, but has given me a lot of tools and insight. It's caused me to ask questions that I think people in their 20s, 30s typically are not asking about their health and also why we're here and, and kind of these deeper, more esoteric questions sometimes. And so I've been able to turn around and help a lot of people. I've helped thousands around the world with, you know, their, their healing issues, their journey. And um, it's been incredible to do. Uh, I think that life kind of prepares us to turn around and help other people walk a path that we've, we've already walked. Absolutely. And, you know, we've connected because we've got a lot in common. We're both biologists. Um, we both help with people healing themselves. I also work with people's animals um, because that's a real passion on mine. So if you've got any animal related questions, the root cause of that, don't be shy about asking. But you're so right what we, you know, we learn a lot from experience, don't we? Sometimes we want those experiences. Sometimes we don't want those experiences. And I think most people watching will be able to resonate that when we're talking about health and looking at the root cause of the health, it often we learn the hard way, don't we? Yes, we do. <laughs> yes, we do. It's a lot of like, I feel like it's like you open one door and then there's another and there's another. Like I, so when I lost my health, it was a brain trauma. I had a brain injury and it was so interesting to kind of go out and be 
searching different avenues, even like the way that a neurologist looks at health and just was looking at my nervous system, you know, and then I went to an acupuncturist and they're looking at the energy flow in my body. And I went, you know, to other people and they're looking at different things. And so to get to the root of all of it, I mean, it took me two years to find like, well, how do you actually address the root of the issue? Because a lot of people just want to mask symptoms, you know, and I, I'm, I'm sitting here, like I'm surrounded by plants. I've got the one behind me. You can see. Me too. Yeah. And I always, think about like when you look at your plants like your plants are drooping none of us would go over there and polish the leaf like it would just never occur to any of us to sort of like address the leaf we go look at the soil like is it moist does it need water is it bad soil is it acidic like we look at that and except the thing is like in our own bodies we try and go after the symptom like oh you have a headache we'll take something for the headache it's like no 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 <laughs> that headache is representative of something that's going on internally like you've got to look at your soil you've got to look at the foundation and i don't know uh western medicine doesn't seem to be like shaped around that you know and uh, it's unfortunate because a lot of us like my grandfather was a doctor so growing up i really went to him and his suggestion was typically a medication or a specialist that we could go talk to and um, it didn't help. I'll just say yeah. that when I had trauma, <laughs> they could not get to the root of my issue. Yes, it's very, very true. And I think a lot of the time when we are looking at the root cause of the issue, it's quite hard for some people, particularly for young people. You know, when you're young, you think you're invincible. That's the way it's meant to be. You know, you do heal very quickly and we'll come on to some of the reasons for that. But actually, by the time any of us are suffering from any sort of symptom, that we typically go and seek help to get addressed, the problems typically be building up for a long while. And a lot of people have heard about epigenetics now. A lot of people have look, um, heard about emotional links to diseases. There's so many avenues people can explore. What's been your experience of what some of the most fundamental things that make the biggest difference are? Well, it's interesting, you know, for me, uh, growing up with, the Western medicine and my grandfather was like, it was something that it was kind of like this structure in the background, but my mom, I think it, interestingly, probably like in opposition to him, right? She went in this other direction. And so I grew up with like essential oils. My mom would put essential oils on my feet and I was a big swimmer. So um, I would get swimmers ear all the time. And rather than putting, you know, these medicated things in my ear, my mom would make this concoction of like, it was like olive oil and garlic and she'd put it in my ear and it would clear up the issues. And it was always fascinating to me. I always thought my mom was like a little bit like, like it was like witchcraft. Yeah. I'm like, I don't know what she's doing, but <laughs> she's got all this stuff here. And uh, she also opened a yoga studio. And so when I was probably in my teens, I started to experience meditation and understand yoga. And I was fascinated actually by how the yogis look at health and how they look at the body. And I would say probably, Catherine, this is where I bring most things to, because I think in our society, people say, oh, like they understand that things are caused by stress. But like, what is that? Like, what does that really mean? Yeah. <laughs> and the way that the yogis look at the body, so stay with me, if this is like new language for any of you, but they look at the body as having uh, two flows of energy. It's called the Ida and the Pingala. It's like your masculine and feminine energies. And I would say in the West, it's like the parasympathetic and sympathetic nervous system, okay? So a lot of us get predominantly put into our Pingala, the masculine, the doing energy. And especially in the West, it's like we like to accomplish and go and do. And what happens is when we're always in that energy, our life force is taken from doing the healing and the, re and, and, and the repair work and it's put into our minds, it's put into all this doing. And so the body literally starts to break because it doesn't have the life force there. And I thought that was so fascinating when I, when I learned about that, cause I went, wow, that feels accurate to me. You know, like when I, when I get into overdoing, I'm, I, can, I get exhausted and if I don't allow myself, it's like, I used to always get sick after finals, you know, like I would push myself and study and go and then boom, I would get sick. Why? Because I take my whole life force and put it out there. So what the yogis say is, the foundation to keep good health is to keep your energies in flow and to balance out the doing and the being. And they use like, they, they give examples. So like, look at the breath. The breath is a balance of in and out, doing and being, the heartbeat. It's a balance of, you know, tension and relaxation. And I just loved how they looked at the whole system and said, okay, energetically, that's really all you need to do. Like, if you just want to get to the root of it, you need to balance out the doing in your body with some being. And they, this is where meditation comes from. This is where breath work comes from. And so for myself, that's always sort of been 
from the more energetic level, right? Because you and I are biologists. So this definitely also I'm grounded in like, what do you do for the physical body? But to me, this gets to the root of most issues. If people can balance out the stress in their system, their life force is freed up to do like what the body's designed to do, which is to heal itself. Yeah, and Mark, I'm sorry to hear that you've got issues. If you've got, if, if anyone's got any specific questions, we will interrupt our flow and ask them because, you know, this is all about really any ways that we can help. But I love that, Danielle, because I see that the whole time. And I think when people are really looking at the root cause, it's, that, it, it's such a different language to a lot of people because first and foremost, you know, you've got this um, idea of the fact that we now know that so few diseases are caused by genetics. There are some, but a lot of it is caused by environmental factors that are switched on and off certain pathways, genes, communication side of things in the body, the, whether these problems are expressed or not. And this gives back, in one respect, it gives a lot of power back to us as individuals to do stuff about it. But in another respect, it can be really, really hard for people because it can almost come across as like it's our own fault for what we're going through. And that's not the case either, because obviously if we don't have the knowledge to deal with these things, and most of us haven't been brought up like that, it's really, really hard for people. So these conflicting messages can put a lot of strain on people. What would you say to people that are sort of starting to get into holistic root cause of what's going on in their lives that to take away that fear of, of not being afraid to ask the questions, not being afraid to look at different ways of doing things? Yeah, it's a learning journey. I would say to just look at it as like, look, it's part of the evolution here in this lifetime is to understand our body mind connection. Like we're not we're just not taught about a lot of these things. And so you have to just give yourself a little bit of like room to, to be, to be new, to be a novice and to go, okay, I really don't understand how my body is functioning. I don't understand these energies Danielle's talking about even like, I don't understand how all of this works together, how my thoughts can impact my body. Um, what avenues there are, right? Because there's so much, even like there's, there's a lot of quantum healing modalities that are coming out now. I was at an incredible conference last fall and it's so interesting because like I'm wearing technology wearing one. Yeah. Hey, what is that? I'll tell you about that in a bit. It's incredible. Yeah. Nice. So, yeah. yeah so, mm. Like there's just so many cool devices, things out there that can check your energy. Like I was there, it was a, a bio well conference. So it's this really interesting device that you can put your finger into and through curly and photography, it like it measures how your energetic field responds and so you can start to see where you're weak and where things you know are out of balance and it's just it's a fascinating way to look at the body and we just we weren't taught that like traditional western medicine is is in a certain vein um but if you go different places and like i did during my journey i went to india i went because i had a good friend there and they studied homeopathy there and so it was like okay well what do they know can they help me with my issues and you know, I think that there's a lot of different ways to address health. And what I would say is stay open, keep experimenting, and you will, it will, it will resonate within your being. Like there are some things that you will just intuitively go, this is right for me. And other things you go, this might be right for you, but it's not right for my body. And um, that, that's a process. And so you just have to trust. Like that's something I think that I resonate with you a lot is I, I trust recommendations you make because uh, I resonate a lot with your own journey, the way supported people and you know you've helped thousands of people and animals and there's just some underlying understanding you have that I think experience has given you so you got to find the right people to follow and listen to and then trust your own intuition is really the biggest thing I can tell you love that I absolutely love it Danielle and um we've got a question here from Arlo Sparkle and after we've come that I'm just making a note to myself about talking about the quick fixes and times but um arlo's asking what what causes problems with feet like plantar fasciitis and dry itchy skin cracks and soreness in feet um now have you got any comments on that and then i'll step in as well well i i'll, I'll just say and i'll keep this sort of to the the energetics of it typically um, I always look at, okay, what's the emotional and mental cause of dis-ease in the system? And the feet are your foundation. They're what move forward. And so I would just look if like your body's always talking to you and it talks through discomfort, it talks through dis-ease, it talks through things like this. And so going into just emotionally 
And on that level, what might be off? Are you not trusting your foundation? Are you not feeling like you can walk forward? There's things there. Um, Louise Hay's work is fabulous. You can look up a website and she kind of, she'll talk about plantar fasciitis, she'll talk about all sorts of different things. And I think it's interesting to just go, okay, maybe there's an emotional component I can work on because my body's speaking to me. And then what do I actually do? Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. With the, there's an issue with my feet, right? I'm very practical. I, I go into both worlds. Um, I have one foot in both, but I like to know because that's the root of it is that there's an emotional issue, um, but it's manifesting physically. So then how do you deal with the physical issue? And what are your thoughts? I love that. And I agree with all of that. I love Louise Hay. And I also love uh, um, Yvette Rowe's Metaphysical Anatomy. It's absolutely fantastic. Who looks at the emotional. But what I would say also, Arlo, is when you're looking at um, conditions like the dry, itchy skin, crack, soreness, it can also be related to dryness within the digestive system and the colon in particular, and looking at your gut health and your microbiome health. Um, so what sort of Danielle and I would do, we would, we would be we're looking at the emotional links to it, but also we'd be looking at a cellular level, which we'll be coming on to in a minute, about how to readdress that balance at a cellular level. Because, um, everything you know if your gut cells are healthy you're healthy if your gut's healthy if your liver cells are healthy your liver's healthy and what happens when you've got anything where you're looking at dryness itchiness sores cracks you're generally looking at an imbalance in the gut microbiome as well which can have emotional links as well it all links in this is all one big healing circle um, so we really want to look at your gut health as well and how we can really encourage your body to hold on to more hydration. So look at your hydration. We're going to come on to some cellular health options. Look at some of the emotional links to diseases. Um, and if you need more help, reach out because we can definitely help you. So one of the things when we're talking about um, root cause of disease, Danielle, is a lot of people realise that they don't want to keep going down the pill for a symptom approach. However, that can give quite, it, it can mask the symptoms. It's like taking the warning light out of your car dashboard. But quite often people, you know, they've got a headache, they can take a headache pill and feel better um, very quickly. When people are really looking at addressing the root cause, we can be looking at a longer healing journey. But the beauty is, is then you're going to stop the problem coming back. You've got some amazing experiences with this, haven't you? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And I think, you know, when I kind of on my own journey, right, I talked about more of the esoteric, the energetics of it, but being a biologist, I've always wondered, like when you cut yourself, how does the body know to heal that area? Like I've always been fascinated by how our physical body works and it's all communication. Like we're this like incredible communication network, trillions of cells that are functioning mm. together, you know, what you're seeing here right now and all of the, the organs, the tissues, the, the systems in my body. And so in my own evolution of exploring how to overcome uh, my brain trauma, what it actually ultimately came down to was how do you get the communication at the cellular level back and intact? Because the body, when it can communicate, it can identify where damage is, it can activate the genes that help with the immune system, that help with the inflammation in the body. It, like it's able to address every key on the piano. Right? because that's what our cells do. They're able to go after whatever it is. And so, you know, I, cause I'd been taking like handfuls of supplements, right? And so many people do, like I, I wasn't taking prescription medications for a long time. I ultimately ended up needing one, but I was taking handfuls of supplements like this helped with sleep and this helped with that. And it was like, I was touching one key on the piano and it was, it ultimately got overwhelming. And I don't know if any of you on your journeys are like, holy cow, like I just can't take all of this. Like it's just too much. And so for me, what it came to and where now the last decade I've been supporting people is with cellular health. Yeah. Because what I found is that if you can keep the foundation strong, like you just said, the cells in your liver, if they're functioning properly, then your body's going to be able to do all the things it needs to do, detoxify from anything that's coming in. Like it can do its stuff. Same with your stomach cells, same with your skin. So, uh, and muscles. Like it's, it's all cellular. And so if you can get that communication strong and you can give the body the ability to detect damage and to repair, it's, it's phenomenal. And that's ultimately what allowed my body to come back from the injury I had was I got communication going again and my brain was able to do the repair work. Um, so that's ultimately like when I think root cause on a biological, like talking about the physical body, you gotta go to the cells. Uh, because that is where the breakdown is <laughs> and that's where you can restore communication and get everything back going. I, I 
I, I'm so agree with everything you're saying here. And thank you so much for everyone joining us and your questions. C. Piper, what a brilliant question. And this is absolutely top there for me of one of my favorite things to talk about. Um, what do we suggest for autoimmune disorders? I'm doing acupuncture and exercise right now. I was also doing better with dry needling. First and foremost, great job. You know, exercise is absolutely crucial. I love acupuncture when it's done properly. It can be absolutely phenomenal. Um, I actually work with red light therapy over acupoints, and that's fantastic for working with humans and animals. So I'll, I'll jump in first, Danielle, and then we'll come to you. With the autoimmune side of things, when Danielle and I are working with anyone, we always look at the complete picture. You know, like Louise Hay said, if you're spring cleaning your house, you know you've got to get around every room, but which room you start in might vary. So we would be looking at diet, lifestyle, stress levels, sleep. But with autoimmune, this is a classic example of where the cellular communication has gone awry. And this is one of the specialities that both Danielle and I really work with to just like Danielle was explaining for her healing journey of actually really addressing the root cause at a cell level, because with autoimmune, your body's communication systems have gone awry and are actually working against your own cells rather than foreign invaders. And when we put that communication loop back in place when we put when we reset that back at a cellular level that we've got a fantastic technique that we'll come on to talk about um c piper this really has amazing results as low uh, along with the other lifestyle changes that you're making um so you know hydration is absolutely key good quality water and enough of it you're already doing the exercise we'd also look at stress management techniques for that as well what would you like to add to that danielle yeah i think about about autoimmune I've helped a lot of people with it and I think about it as like your cells have a fuzzy communication it's like like if you turn on the radio and you got static the communication network is not strong and so there's just miscommunication happening your body's attacking itself and again I like I don't necessarily look at the labels that somebody is given mm -hmm. I just say foundationally what's off and if you can get that fuzzy communication like the cells that are problematic, get rid of them and get new healthy cells that are communicating properly. Well, that's going to trickle up and it's going to impact the system of the body. That can take time. Right? Yeah. Um, I have found for me, uh, I have found redox signaling to be the best thing for that because reductants and oxidants are the communication network. And to go a little bit into biology, sorry if this is like too much for some of you, but like reductants have an ele extra electron okay so they can they can give an electron and oxidants can take one and when you get foundationally when i'm talking about communication like when you cut yourself how does it know what to do it's literally electron transfer so there's an energy cascade and all of these uh communications happen through reductants and oxidants through this and it allows for the body to know where it needs to come and repair or what cell is like dysfunctioning like in your in your immune system so it can come over and either repair it or apoptosis, right? Get rid of it and get a new healthy cell in its spot. And the thing is our communication network breaks down as we get older. It happens yeah. in plants, animals, it happens in people. And for a long time, like it was thought to be impossible to restore that communication. And one of, I think the best options that someone can do is, is taking a redox supplement because it puts back in this communication network and your body can't be allergic to it. It's not going to be toxic. It won't contraindicate with anything because your system already has these reductants and oxidants. You're just adding more. So it's like you get back to the levels you had when you were young. And it's fascinating. Catherine, I know you've seen this too, because all of a sudden, as that communication gets restored, people are like, wait a second, like I'm sleeping better. My my mental clarity is there. My my issues that were, you know, like what you're having, C Piper, all of a sudden, like, huh. <laughs> those issues are no longer there anymore. And it's, it's fascinating because it's like, it's the missing link to our health. If you can get the cells communicating, like you're good. It's, it's, yeah. I've seen it time in the last decade. So I completely, so C Piper, please reach out to me afterwards. Perhaps if you'd be happy to send me a DM, we can really get you sorted with this because this is something that both Danielle and I really, really specialize in and, and see amazing results with, and it's all linked. And we also look at the lifestyle side of things as well. Um, we've got Mark again about massive migraine headaches that then start off a cascade of other stuff. Great question. And again, this is something we see a lot of. 
Yeah. Well, Mark, that was my life. So just to give a little bit of just my personal um, experience with migraines, you know, when I got hit by the drunk driver, my brain hit my skull and immediately I had my like migraines like you wouldn't believe. I mean, it felt like my head was coming out of my it just was awful. Felt like a vice grip, felt pulsing. I couldn't handle light. I couldn't handle noise. And this lasted for two years. Um, so I couldn't work. I was in a dark room. It was not a good situation. So Mark, I'm really sorry that you're dealing with that. And it's wicked when you don't mm -hmm. have your brain with you. You can't do much else. I will tell you the thing that helped me the most was actually supplementing with the redox. That was the thing that allowed, it, it took 90 days. It was three months of using that. Uh, I was drinking eight ounces of this a day. And that's when all of a sudden the pulsing, the, the intensity, it went away. Uh, my sensitivities to noise and light went away with time as well. And interestingly, um, that company, the company's name is ASEA, is the one that has that supplement that I took. They also came out with a topical, which I don't know if you've played with this in this capacity, Catherine. I'd be interested to see what you've, what you've experienced. But um, with people that are having stuff going on in the brain, yeah, that. It's by me, too. I have, I have it. It's, like, always by me. Um, if you rub it on the vagus nerve, it's really fascinating. This nerve is called the wanderer. And you can get the signaling straight into the vagus nerve, all right? And it seems to... I was I'd say mark 50% of the time, I can't guarantee it, but I would say it's coin flip 50% of the time. If you do what Catherine's doing right now and you put it on the vagus nerve and for you, if you can put it, you know, base of the skull and around here, it seems to be able to head off those issues. All right. And, um, and then in time, I've been people with decades of dealing with exactly what you're talking about um, in just a couple of months of drinking the liquid specifically eight ounces is what I saw is what they've seen. Um, things just start to alleviate. And again, it's because what is the issue? It's a cellular issue. Whatever the breakdown, you don't know, the doctors can't pin it, you've done a million tests, nobody knows what's going on. If you just look at your body, it is trillions of cells. And so if those cells are doing their job, you're not gonna have you know, an issue that you're going to the doctor for. And I don't know, Catherine, if you've seen anything I've, like that as well. I've seen absolutely miraculous results with this. And it comes back into one of the ones that um, we're talking about. We've got a question here. If someone just joined, um, we'll, we'll recap a bit about what is redox. But redox as signaling molecules, or ASEA as the brand name, is something that Danielle and I, as holistic practitioners, work with extensively. It's one of the main tools we have in our toolkit. Of course, it's not the only one. We look at lifestyle issues as well. Um, the whole range of factors, but you have to have a starting point to reset your body. It's a bit like a control alt delete, um, where you're resetting your cells back to a very healthy state so they can start doing what they're meant to be doing, communicating in the way they're meant to be. Because as, as I think it was marked with the migraines, it's absolutely horrendous when you're suffering for something like that. It affects every single aspect of your life. So what we're really passionate about is really this is why it's about the root cause. It's not just masking over the symptoms because these symptoms are there because there's something out of the um, out of balance in your body. And absolutely, Joy, I will be putting the links below. But I'm going to come on to to that because it's really important you don't go and order it off Amazon or something because this is a product where you need support because you need a practitioner such as ourselves or someone that's trained in this to really tell you how to tune in because each of our bodies are different. We're going to detox in a different way. We're going to have different lifestyles and challenges that we're dealing with. So what the beauty of this is when you work with someone that can really help you get the best results from the product, how to use it, where specifically to use it, how much to take, and you swish it around your mouth before swallowing. So absolutely, I'll put once the live's ended, I'll put it there. And if anyone wants to um, DM me root or comment below root, we can start a conversation and just see how this can help you. Because the beauty of really addressing it at the root cause, Danielle, is we're looking at really seeing how you can reset your body so the problem doesn't come back because we're all exposed by loads and loads of different um, challenges from the physical, the emotional, the spiritual side of things all the time. So we really need something that's going to keep pace with that. We've got a really lovely, hi Stacey, love you Stacey. Um, does it help with ocular migraines and what causes ocular? Now this is a good one for us to say about the disclaimer, the medical disclaimer. Do you want to start with that, Danielle? Yeah, I'll say this, you know, 
this redox, what we're talking about, it's not treatment. It doesn't heal, cure, treat any disease. It, what it does is it empowers your body to figure out where is their damage and allow your body to go and repair. It allows your body, like your innate immune system and the way that your body innately repairs itself is incredible. It's better than any medication you could ever take or any supplement you could ever take. But sometimes there's a breakdown there. And so with redox, like I can't sit here and tell you, oh, take this amount and you'll get this result because each person is different. It's kind of like, you know, if a construction worker came to my house, a contractor came to my house and came to your house, Catherine, like I'd probably have them like go work maybe on a plumbing issue. You might have them work on an air conditioning issue. Like where your house is broken down and mine is different. But a contractor can do a lot of different things. A worker can do a lot and redox can do a lot. So it's, it's kind of like <laughs> putting that into the body, it's gonna go where you have the damage, where your cells aren't functioning. And so I always tell people, it's always a play of, well, how much damage is there? So like, are we talking about like a one day job or a 10 week job, you know? And like, how old are you right now? Like how many current workers are on the job site? And so if we look at that, it's just a play of time and the amount that you need to drink. And over time, you're going to see a shift. Like it's impossible not to. Um, it's absolutely impossible not to see this working because it's the way you foundationally work. And so I would just say, if you're having, if you have a specific issue, reach out privately. Uh, we can kind of talk through maybe what we've seen and worked with in the past. Um, and can start supporting you in in your journey to get your get yourself talking and get you back to to feeling good yeah absolutely um great question great comment stacy and mark thank you please do reach out because this is my passion and this is my life that we danielle and i've been doing this long enough to really know what works and what we're looking to reset itself get back to homeostasis in a way that's really safe and effective for your individual body because there is no such thing as a quick fix that's going to have lasting results the way we work it really is lasting results i promise you um i love this question now i can't believe it already danielle we're running out of time so just a couple more questions and then we'll tell people about how we're going to be doing this on a regular basis to check in but this is a really good two kilograms I get migraines just before my period every month. Only happens since having children. I now also have ME-CFS. Fantastic point. I'm really sorry that you're going through that, but there's a lot that can be done for that, isn't there? Yeah, absolutely. Guys, I, I'm, I'm sorry to look at the time and where we are. Um, Catherine and I decided we'll, we'll come on here live. Like we're going to do weekly yeah. at this time um so that we can connect with you guys have this conversation help you kind of zero in on things uh we've walked the path <laughs> and can guide you and i think uh if you've got personal things like what you have going on i, I instagram cracks me up because we don't know your name yes so to call you kg just seems funny but 2kg uh <laughs> you reach out you know Catherine can kind of talk through um what can support you so that you know, you're not dealing with those things each and every month. Um, again, guys, your body is talking to you. Like if you just look at every bit of discomfort, everything that's going on, it's because that's the way the body communicates. It's needing something. And so do not just mask it with some pill because you're not gonna get at the root and it's gonna pop up somewhere else or it'll pop up louder. You need to figure out, okay, why is it communicating that? What mentally, emotionally maybe am I going through that's causing this to manifest? And then how do I help my physical body actually start to repair and deal with that issue and that's i mean that's what we do best so um, yeah so we're going to be yes mark you would be our bodies are absolutely amazing our bodies are always looking to get back to homeostasis which is get back to balance get back to health but unfortunately these days um we've got a lot of stressors being put on us and that's different for all of us so whereas it's really important to sort of take these conversations individually and I offer free 15 minute calls for people so we can talk one on one and really go through in a private setting exactly what's going on for you because all of your your needs will be different. But the one thing I do promise you is we've got solutions. We've got ways that we can really help. And both of us, you know, we do a lot of work together because we're really passionate about passing on this knowledge that's so difficult to get out to people in the modern line of censorship, etc because once people start to realize just how good they can feel you know everyone's used to being told oh you just expect this after children or after a certain age or something like that and it's just not true it really isn't true 
our bodies can really get back to that vibrant state that we were when we were younger um if we give it give them the right tools if we listen to them and give it the right help so give yeah absolutely stacy completely on that um you know this is when you know the challenges that have been thrown at us then it's fantastic because nature has really got all the solutions so i really appreciate everyone joining us today um so it's gone so quickly i love these things anyone who wants to either comment root um below or dm me to start a conversation danielle and i are going to be back every week most times it's going to be on a tuesday this time 3 p.m uk 10 o'clock eastern time if we need to change that time due to our work schedules we will advertise it on our stories Please do come back, ask your questions, join us. We'll keep an eye on the comments below to ask, answer your individual questions. Any final words for you, Danielle? No, I'm just super grateful. These these conversations need to be had, and uh, I'm I'm excited that you know more people are asking asking these questions, or not just taking what they're told from you know these industries that have a lot to say about our health, and that people are feeling empowered to take back control. And there are options, or people that have walked the path ahead of you, and. Um, we're going to give as much as we can. So I look forward to seeing you next week. And um, a couple of people asked if when the live ends, you could put more about the redox in there. I don't know. There was a lot coming through here. So I'll, I'll leave it. Yeah, to what I have to do, because the way Instagram works and you can't put links and things, it sounds weird, everyone's when we say, please send me a DM or comment below so I can DM you. That's just the way the platform works. You know, they're limited to what links we can put. I have got links in my bio, but this is really something where we want to have a conversation first before you order so that we can really get the right things at the right cost for yourself and really give you that support. And this is what Danielle and I really do is give that ongoing support so that you get the best possible results. So um, I'll put some information below reach out to me and we'll keep this conversation going and hopefully i really appreciate your time danielle you're absolutely amazing the way that you help everyone with all the work you do is absolutely fantastic so come back and join us next week everyone absolutely bye everybody have a great bye thank you